awful story there from uh, a viewer, and so sad. And uh, we move on to one that's just as horrific. Earlier this month, two Mpumalanga siblings died after sharing a packet of two-minute instant noodles. A week after that, the health department reported a similar incident in the Eastern Cape that claimed the lives of three children. That's five children now in total. And since then, the department has initiated an urgent investigation into possible food poisoning in Gauteng, Mpumalanga, and the Eastern Cape. Officials say the samples of the leftovers were collected and sent for testing. For an update on this developing story, we're joined by Mpumalanga Health MEC, Sasekani Manzini. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on this very sad story. Can you just tell us what you know? Because when I think about noodles, it's a dry food. There's uh, no salmonella risk uh, or any kind of um, sort of protein risk. Uh, and, and uh, you know, violation of, of the actual foodstuffs. What do you think could have happened here? Good morning to you, Anika, and to the viewers at home. Uh, indeed, as a department, we can confirm that uh, two cases of uh, kids that died and one that was also uh, taken to one of our clinic at uh, Gavin Beki, Balenche, uh, but uh, soon was uh, then uh, discharged. And what we can cannot confirm is that uh, is as a result of the noodles, but of course, as we are correctly putting it, that as a department, we also uh, working with the police took those noodles and uh, so that it can be tested. As of now, we are still waiting for the results. Uh, you'll remember that there was a similar case of kids at some point at the uh, Malathini, where kids were said they've eaten um, knickknacks, but only to find that where the knickknacks was stored, there was a red hex next to where it was stored. So hence, we don't want to speculate and confirm uh, until we get the results of the test that already has been sent so that we can be able to be in a position to correctly confirm that indeed it was as a result of those notices. MEC, I remember that case, and it also seemed like knickknacks would be an unlikely source. But this is three provinces, so it brings us to the question of, is there a central depot where the noodle, noodles are distributed from? Is there a central point uh, that we uh, get those noodles from, you know, in all the different provinces? Uh, as a department, we can confirm that, remember, it's just a local um, shop uh, in, the, in the area that we cannot know in terms of the distribution channel, where it is bought and how it is then distributed and all that. Hence, we are saying from the side of the Department of Health, working with the police that must deal with more investigation in this matter, will then be able to be in a position to confirm whether it is as a result of that. But as we are saying that, it is not only in, in Pumalanga as a province. So if it is happening in other provinces of the same uh, nodules, then maybe that's when it can raise uh, some sort some of form of confirmation that it might be as a result of that. But we want to wait for the results so that we can confirm in terms of whether it is the nodules that they've ate. But also remember there was a third child also that uh, it's, it is said that she ate the very same nodules. So we'll wait for the results then to confirm in terms of what we are seeing to be what did the, the cause of the death and the one that was admitted. MEC, we are in the realm of speculation, and so I understand your reluctance to expand further on what could be the possible causes. You also could face possible <coughs> litigation if you're found to have been liable uh, in terms of contamination in any way. What do we know about good food hygiene, though, in the handling of this food and its preparation? From the side of uh, the manufacturing, you'll remember that chicken noodles, as you are correctly say, they come uh, pre-cooked, of which it might happen that uh, in terms of at home, in terms of the hygiene, you are correct. But because there are two families that are involved, we cannot then say that uh, maybe both of them, they, there was no good hygiene in terms of preparation, uh, but also, as you said, in other provinces it happened. So all these things are looked at. But what will be the final is the results of whether after, if it is not the, the noodles that they've eaten, then it means that we need to go back working with our environmental health um, officials to make sure that maybe if it's of, of the results of that, 
we are able to educate them of something that we are doing, working with the local municipalities from time to time, even as a department, we do our awareness campaign, our educational program in the different communities. So, but that will then be intensified after the confirmation or not confirming that it was off of the results of the noodles that they've eaten. MEC, last question. When do you expect to get some kind of clarity on the results of this in investigation? We are working with the Gauteng province, uh, hence it will be very difficult to confirm exact date, but we hope that uh, very soon we'll be given with those results so that we can close the matter and be able to get the, the root cause and remedial action uh, as, as, as quickly as possible so that we don't drag it. Meanwhile, as we have indicated, that maybe it might be other causes. So the more you drag, you might get similar cases that will then uh, uh, results in, 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 in such cases being presented to us and people losing their lives. But so far, we can say we can't confirm in terms of the actual date, but we did, conf we did say that we can have it, the results within a short space of time. All right. Would you mind coming on air with us as soon as you get those results? We'd love to hear uh, what the source of the problem is. Definitely we'll be glad to come back and close the matter correctly from the side of the department, from the side of the province. So we will, if invited by your good self, we'll come back and be able to provide in terms of what, what is the outcome of the results. Thank you so much. And of course, our condolences here to uh, those children that lost their lives. That was Sasekani Manzini, Mpumalanga Health MEC.